How are you doing? Today we are going to talk about line through two points in space. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Find sets of parametric equations and systematic equations of the line through the points P with coordinates seven minus two and six and Q with coordinates minus three, zero, six. So use the points P and Q to find the direction vector for the line passing through P and Q. So first we find the vector PQ, which will be minus X2 minus X1. So minus three minus seven, Y2 minus Y1. So zero minus minus two and six minus six. Hence vector PQ is minus 10, min then zero plus two is two and then zero. Hence the directional numbers are a is minus 10, B is two and C is zero, okay? So now use the direction numbers, A is equal to minus 10, B is equal to two and C equal to zero with the point P, which is seven minus two and six to get the parametric equations. So the first parametric equations is seven minus 10 T, X1 plus A T, Y is equal to B, plus uh, was, uh, so x is equal to, uh, sorry, x is equal to, yeah, x1 plus a t, x1 is seven, a is minus 10, so seven minus 10 t. Y is y1 plus b t, y1 is two, two uh, minus two rather, y1 is minus two and pass uh, the directional number is my, uh, plus and directional number B is plus two. So minus two plus T, two T. And for Z is Z1 plus CT. Remember C is zero. So Z is equal to Z1, which is equal to six. So again, X is equal to X1 plus AT, Y equal to Y1 plus BT, and Z is equal to Z1 plus CT. But C being zero, Z is just equal to six. Since there is no T term in Z, systematic equations are not possible because we cannot solve for t for z. So systematic equations are not possible. We'll be just left with the parametric equations. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. And I will see you next time with another problem, another solution. Thanks. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.